What happens if your district stops using Canvas LMS? Don't lose all of your hard work on that curriculum. Learn how to keep it flexible. Don't be at the mercy of one single online platform. I've seen this happen so many times to educators all over the world where the district stops using it, you get a new job, and the new job does not use Canvas, they use a different LMS, or you're like me and you decide to go independent and you don't have access to Canvas and you're at the mercy of that one online platform. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create your curriculum in a flexible manner so that you can use it on any online platform, even if you wanna go back in person and you need to go good old style analog. We always need a backup plan because we are thinking longevity for your career, right? We're not thinking, oh, right now I'm teaching at this institution or the school that uses Canvas, so I'm gonna do everything on it. Then you go somewhere else and you don't have access to any of that for whatever reason. We need to start out and remind ourselves that we need all of our curriculum documents, modules, PDFs, quizzes, videos, every single thing that you have on your Canvas courses, we need to have those in an analog version. And I know, I know, I am the queen here of online education, but you better believe that every single course that I have created, I have it in a system so that I can take it and I can teach it in person, hybrid or online synchronous or asynchronous anytime, anywhere. The best way that I have found to do this is to start out with a Google Doc. Now, when I say start out with a Google Doc, please make sure that you are not using your district or your school or your work, Google Workspace or Google Access. Because again, if you lose that job or you leave that job for whatever reason and you don't have access to your Google Cloud, then you're gonna lose access to this. So if you don't already, you need to have your own Gmail account, okay? And then we're going to use that Google Workspace area to create this Google Doc so you always have access to it no matter what job you have. I like to start out with creating an outline. Just as you have everything outlined in your modules and quizzes step by step, we're going to do that exact same thing with a Google Doc. The reason why I like Google is because it will start to index every single thing. So you can start out with units or modules, however your course works on Canvas. So if I'm doing a four unit course, which is pretty typical for me, then I will list all four units and then I will go in and I will outline every single element. Maybe one is a lecture, then one is a video, one is a quiz, one is an assignment, and I will outline it first so that then the next step would be to start implementing all the information. And yes, you are going to need to copy and paste all of your information in the modules, in Canvas, we're going to need to pull all of those documents. Because again, if Canvas goes away or you moved somewhere else and you're teaching somewhere else that doesn't use it, you're not gonna have access to it. Even if you download that file, getting all that information, very, very challenging, sometimes near impossible to do. And I know what you're probably thinking, oh, I'll just start a new free Canvas account and pull it there later on. No, 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 no. Hear me when I say this. What happens when that free Canvas account does not support all of the information because the storage limit is really small? Or you created something in a, a program that is paid and it's addition to the basic level of Canvas. I would not suggest doing that. So after you have your outline, the next step you're going to do is go in and start to pull any of the documents that you have. Open up a brand new Google folder and then we're going to start to link every single one from your, your outline into your Google folder. So again, we're creating that massive main outline that you have access to. And then all the documents, if they are PDFs, drop them into that Google folder, title them, and they're going to be there for you, housed, ready to go when you need them. Any video lectures that you have, again, add that into your outline and then create a folder that says video lectures for that specific course, and then start to link those to your outline. So again, we're having easy access to everything. And you want the full video. If it's in Canvas, download it. We want to have that video footage so that you can use it again if you need it. Next up, we probably have items in your Canvas shells like quizzes. I always, always, always create my quiz questions and the answers 
in a Google Doc before I even put them on Canvas. And that becomes my bank. Canvas is never my main bank. Because again, and this happened to me, if I'm not using Canvas anymore, where I, I lose all of that. And you can download a lot of items in Canvas, but I always wanna have a backup plan so I know that I have that curriculum and that work that I spent so much time curating. So take all the questions, you can either download them in Canvas or just go through and copy, start copying and pasting, put them in a Google Doc first, that way you have them and that way you can edit them if you need to go analog and you need to print and hand them out. So create all of the quizzes, just as if you were teaching it back in person, old school style, right? And then again, link those into your outline. So again, we're going down the outline step by step by step. So that way, if you go and teach the class again, you have that full outline and full breakdown to follow. If you have any worksheets or any type of templates that you have created in Canva, again, go ahead, download them. Because again, what happens if Canva goes away? Download them, create that file, put it in a Google Doc, or put it in a Google folder and then take that and link it into your outline. So we're going step by step just so you can follow it down. If you have any lectures or any assignment details in your Canvas modules, go through, copy, and paste them into this Google Doc under the unit. So let's say, for example, I have a full assignment with a full breakdown. I will actually go in and I will copy and paste that and start to put that in my outline. And yes, this outline is gonna be pretty long, but I would rather have that backed up any day than lose it and never be able to access it again. If you have any video references or resources that you use that maybe you did not create, like if you can link to a YouTube video or if you're linking to other elements on the web, have those links as well. So any other resources, create a bank on that in your outline where you can list every single one. If you have any discussion posts or any discussion questions that you ask, list that as well in your outline. What this is also doing is creating something that you can pull from if you teach a course that is similar that you can pull information from that might be beneficial for you in the long run. What I also like to do is I will go in and actually add a list of what worked well in this course and what work didn't work well in this course. And I'll put that at the very, very bottom. So I'll give myself almost like a wrap up as an educator. What went well? What didn't go well? What should I add in for next time? If I taught this in person, would I do this instead? I also try to add that at the bottom. And don't forget, if you have any slides, again, Keep the templates if you use Canva, which is what I use, or if you use Google Docs or Google Slides, or if you use PowerPoint. But again, go ahead and pull all of those, put them in a Google Doc folder, and then add them into your outline. And will this take you a bit of time? Yeah, absolutely it will. But I promise you it will be worth it in the long run because we're not relying solely on this one LMS platform. We're giving ourselves the curriculum, the information, the PDFs, the resources, the slides, the SLOs, all of that information that you spent so much time curating and we're putting it down into one single outline, one single file that you can then go back and use anytime that you need it. Be proactive, be adaptable, but let's make sure that we have the curriculum strategically placed in a drive in a Google Doc that you can access from anywhere in the world. And you don't lose all of that valuable hard work that you have put in to creating your curriculum for your students. I hope this was helpful for you. Save your curriculum. It is so vitally important. I've seen so many educators lose their curriculum when they left Canvas. And if it was helpful for you, Consider subscribing. I teach videos like this every single week about online education for educators just like yourself. And if it was valuable, give it a like, thumbs up. Any comments or questions you have, let me know. And I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.